Hey guys, welcome to another video. I know it's been a little while since we've posted on this channel and that's because this is kind of what our life has looked like for the past two months. We are moving across the country and I wanted to put together a video that goes over what I've left out for Juno for the trip. So we are driving, it's gonna be a little bit of a what to pack for a road trip, uh, what to pack for a move cross country for your dog. Now most of our items will be in storage when we arrive so I don't really wanna be digging through her boxes to find things that I need in the coming months. So I've packed what we will need for probably the next two or so months for her without having to go like to and from the storage unit. So if you're interested in knowing what we pack for a road trip, what we pack for a move, for our dog, keep watching. Life is a mess right now, but this kibble bin will be coming, the whole bin, as well as her soft crate will be in my car. Her hard crate will go in the moving truck, but will not go in storage. So once we arrive, we will take her hard crate out of the moving truck. This is Juno's bag for the trip. So it's kind of disorganized and I don't have everything in it just yet, but for the most part, everything that she doesn't wear on an everyday basis is in here. So first I have two of these uh, large crock pet dishes. I got these on Amazon and she has two large Ray Dunn ceramic dog bowls that are kind of a pain to travel with. So I picked up these two. Um, I like the ones that, you know, collapse down, but I, they're just always so small. You can't get them big enough um, for a large breed dog, I feel like. So picked up two of these, easy to travel with, won't get broken. And then this is her patch holder. So normally it's hanging on the wall in the closet. So this isn't a necessary item for travel. <laughs> I could have packed this in a box but I like having all of her patches um, accessible because I like to mix it up. So for us, this one is going in the car. The next thing in her bag is just a plastic Ziploc full of the essentials. So ear cleaner, flea tick heartworm meds, paw wax, brushes, some more ear cleaner, things like that. Just like humans, travel with your medications, not in cargo. Pets, travel with medications, not in boxes. You may not need them right away, but if you do, you have them and you have them with you in the car. So I think it's super important to have all of your pets, meds and cleaners and things like that with you in your travel vehicle. The next item similar to pet meds and cleaners is her nail Dremel. So I try to do her nails around every two weeks, meaning that we will definitely need this for the trip. So it comes in the travel bag. So now we're kind of into the more random or pieces of gear and things like that. So I do have two of her bones packed in here. I've got her rec specs. Don't think we'll need them, but I'd rather have them than have them be in a box. Her muzzle, always travel with this. You never know when you're gonna need it. There may be a chance that you end up at an emergency bed, and I'd rather have this than none. So I tend to be someone who's a bit more pessimistic than I am optimistic, so I tend to pack for the chance that things will break or go wrong. That's just kind of how I function. So this bag here is full of lots of things, but I have an extra prong collar, just in case her prong collar breaks, I've got the extra links to her current prong collar. I've got an extra e-collar strap, just in case her e-collar strap breaks. A clicker, some tags, some fur savers, things like that, but that's kind of what's in this little baggie here. So the rest of this stuff, for the most part, is me just wanting to have a variety, also still being a little bit on the pessimistic side that things are gonna break. <laughs> so I've got two leashes here. A leather, a brown leather leash. Her black leather leash is her daily, so it's out there. And then I have this leash. This is a six foot leash. So none of her leashes, for the most part, are six feet. I don't like six feet leashes. I tend to uh, lean more towards fours. So just in case we needed a six foot leash for something, I have this one. And then always her long line is in the car, just in case we needed that. One of these, of course, always gotta have extras. This is a leather fur saver. And then 
we have collars because variety. So <laughs> I've got her gray and her multicam tacti puff collars. I've got her toboggan orange canine tactical gear collar. Her booties, just in case. And then we have a tug. And then at the very bottom of the bag, I have her running harness as well as her running leash. I'd like to start running when we get there. Um, We'll see if that actually happens, but I would like to have it with us just in case we decide to do that. And here are the last few things that are coming with us on the trip. These are her more everyday items, which is why they're not packed up. I've got her e-collar and charger and its case, her canine tactical gear defender harness, and then her everyday wear stuff, which is her black prong collar, can I tactical gear, collar, and then a black leather lead. So I did end up moving everything into a bin because we had an extra one, and it's just much easier to like see all of her stuff, even though it is still kind of a mess. And I've also added a few things like her harness and all of her food and like treat things. Her kibble is in that bin right there. And then I will also be taking her folding soft um, cot, her dog bed cot, the folding one, because it fits easy in the back seat and it'll be nice to have in like hotel rooms and things like that. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to join the Butler Canine family, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in moving videos, there will be at least one or two more, including our road trip, which is going to be super exciting. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.